Alright guys, so here's a tutorial on how to humanize your beats or anything else in Fruit Loops which is note based. And I'm gonna be really quick in this, I don't wanna waste your time, so I'm gonna show you in the description exactly the timestamp where I actually show you the process. But for now I'd just like to uh, specify on exactly what I wanna talk about. Uh, a lot of tutorials on YouTube that I saw, or just on the internet I saw, which tell you how to humanize your notes, they show you how to do it using the piano roll and the randomness uh, tool. There you go, randomize. They always show you how to change the order around, you know, by shifting it left and right. But that's not what I want to do, and that's not even a real humanization, because it's still pattern-based. So if you plop down, like, a few patterns here, they're all gonna be randomized in the same way. And that's, that's, that's not good if you want true randomness, if you want to give the real human aspect to the song. Instead of actually getting really human, that's here's a here's a better way to do it. So the exact thing that I, that came to my mind for doing this was Kraftwerk's uh, Radioactivitat album. They have two songs here which have hi hats, which is just really they're kind they're not really quantized well. They're kind of offset and it sounds really funky and I like how it sounds. So here's the example. <laughs> You can see that it just it's electronic. They use some, uh, uh, I don't, some they use some beat machine. I forgot which one was it, but it's uh, it doesn't seem to be perfect as it obviously shifts a bit left and right. So it goes. It's kind of imperfect. There's also I have the airwave song here. You can hear that it's not really perfectly set. So how do you do that without using patterns? And now, here, here, here goes the process. So, F9 to open the mixer. You can uh, assign this effect to any channel you want. It comes built in with FL Studio, so don't worry. Let's just use master from now on, and we'll open here to add the effect, more plugins, and you're gonna type in for FO4, formula controller. This is the thing you want. You open it, and here it is. Formula controller creates a... Um, a um, virtual controller, which you can assign to pretty much any any knob or button in Fruity Loops, which you can assign automation to. So just go here, go presets, and there's a randomness preset here. So now you got bass level and range to adjust the range, and now it's outputting white, pretty much white noise to the virtual controller. So now this is the beat that I created. You can see that it's perfectly quantized, it's perfectly electric, very clean. Just everything is in, in its right place all of the time. It's perfectly synced to the tempo. But if you want to humanize the hi-hats here, just click on the hi-hats. And so this is your sample. You just got the miscellaneous functions here. And here, under time, you got the shift button. So, a shift knob. Uh, that's the thing which shift and shifts the note left or right, I think, just... If you put it like this, it's gonna be offset. Yeah, you can see it's completely offset now. So, that's de by default zero. You're just gonna right-click, link to controller. And uh, here it is, internal controller, formula controller, out. Don't turn on smoothing, as it smooths it way too much, even on low settings, and you just don't gain anything with it. So, just, this is the only thing, just select formula controller and accept. There you go. You can see it's linked. Now, uh, the, usually you can you can leave it at that, but just don't because you can talk, uh, you can like customize it and stuff. So that's it's a lot more interesting. And since it's by default on zero, you don't want to deviate from zero too much, otherwise it would just sound wrong. Just keep it kind of low and increase the range as, as as you think as you see fit. There you go. So now let's see how it sounds. See, it's not it's not perfectly quantized anymore, and that's that's what gives it a human human aspect. So then let's just re see if we can. No, I don't think we. Ah, there we go. We disabled it pretty much. See, it's at zero. Let's see how it sounds now. <laughs> yeah, you can see the obvious difference. And the benefit of doing this by using uh, this method is that it's not limited to one pattern. So if you want true randomness, you don't have to generate one huge pattern with the length of your whole song. You can just apply it to any sample, and when you plop down your patterns here, 
they're gonna be different every time. So even every time you play the song, it's gonna be different. And uh, <laughs> it's kind of hard to make out the small, these are pretty small differences, but it's gonna be human every time. It's not gonna be random here and then the same randomness in the second and the third and the fourth one. Full random. So that's pretty much how you get this effect in Fruit Loops and it's a pretty, pretty cool way of doing it. So don't don't use the pattern thing, just use this one. It's it's way, way better. But yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you found this helpful, please tell me because that's I'd like to know if I'm helpful to people. So yeah, happy producing.